I'm gonna jump on the back now. Oh god, it just sank to the ground. Oh my god! Uh, uh. <laughs> Get off! I'm too short Get to off. sit on the back. What's up, Live Break Nation? Hey, what's going on, Live Break Nation? <laughs> so, recently we shock tuned the Ultra 4 car down in Johnson Valley. But we did hit an issue here and there, one of which was actually a vibration in the drive line that we thought was a drive shaft. We don't know if that's it, but it brought up the entire conversation of we need really good drive shafts and we need really good spare drive shafts in the event that we break one. So, since we're just kind of a hop, skip, and a jump away from LA, we figured we'd come to JE Real Driveline to a good yeah. new driveline for the Ultra Ford car. Yeah. Dude, this thing, look at this. That joint's as big as my head. That's insane. This isn't what's going on the Ultra Ford car, sure? though. <laughs> Kevin, look at it. Set it down. Set it down. Look at his face. Look at this struggle bus going on. How heavy is that? Like, realistically, how much does it not weigh? Enough? Enough. <laughs> this, so, side's, this side's heavier. Dude, look at that. Oh, look wow. at all of them. So this isn't what's going on the Ultra 4 car though. What's going on the Ultra 4 car is surprisingly smaller, but honestly, Still it's super strong. more than strong enough for what we need. Your turn. Yeah. <laughs> look at his <laughs> yeah, it's Pretty stout. <laughs> can you curl it? Yeah. Oh, we can curl it. I know. Oh, I, I know for sure. More than a it, bar. It weighs more than seven pounds for sure. Okay, okay. that's fair enough. Now, as most of you know, we actually run JE Real Driveline on our JLU Rubicon, the stepchild. And we've honestly had really good luck with their well, canyon crawler. Yeah, yeah, well, we have the canyon crawler now. now. Yes. The canyon, the, we didn't have a canyon crawler when we tacoed it up in Washington. Yeah, that I mean, wasn't a canyon crawler. We sent them the photo of the pretzel drive shaft, and they're like, oh, you're gonna be wheeling like that. And so they sent us their really heavy duty off-roading drive shaft, which has been freaking incredible. They also make a ton of OE parts and of course your daily driven off-roading vehicles. They have drive shafts for you as well. And honestly, we just love the crap out of them. Jim here at JE Real is absolutely incredible. And in addition to all of that, they exclusively use high-end Neapco parts for all of their drive shafts. And honestly, Neapco has been in business for almost a hundred years years and of course just like je real here it's american made which you can't go wrong with that now for the ultra four car though we've been super super lucky because je real has actually agreed to partner with life right and our ultra four build yeah. and sponsor us for king of the hammers 2021 which is fan freaking tactic and we're so freaking thankful Now, as most of you know, the drive shaft that comes from factory on the Jeeps is essentially tinfoil. It dents super easy. If you go back to our early videos on the stepchild, we obliterated. Well, our not only Jeeps, shaft. pretty much all OE stuff. It's for weight savings. Yeah. It's just supposed to propel you down the road. Yeah, that's essentially it. It's not meant to take hits off road at all. This is where your aftermarket drive line comes into play. And with JE Real, this right here, is your 120 wall drive shaft, which is infinitely stronger than your OE drive shaft and perfect for your weekend warrior. Now, when it comes to rigs like the Stepchild or the Ultra 4 car, where you're gonna beat the ever living piss out of it on the rocks, that's where this comes into play. This is their 188 wall canyon crawler. And this right here is intended to take all of the abuse in the freaking world and this Right here is what we're making drive shafts out of today for Child's Play.
you guys. So we have Scott here from JE Real, and he's the one that's actually going to be building our drive shafts for us. Now, you, you've been here for how long? Almost 30 years. 30 years. He is literally, he's the one-man entourage here. He does a lot of stuff. Well, there's a couple other guys here to do a lot of <laughs> stuff, too. But he does a lot of the welding. He builds them, and he's putting together ours in particular. But you, uh, we just welded it together, welded correct? It, yep. But now we have to do something else. Now we got to straighten, make sure it's, it's perfectly straight to, to get the sink balanced correctly. The, the straighter it is, the better it'll balance. After you weld it, it's gonna, everything moves a little bit. So we're about, we're about 12 to 15 thousand out right now. So we're gonna set that on the high side and heat it up a little bit. Now what does the heating do? So the heating, when you put the, the torch to it, you're basically rising up the molecules inside the steel. And then when you cool it off, you're cooling it faster so it all straightens out. So it just takes a couple seconds to do that. It's gonna flip really. Oh, wow, yeah. Really the red, move everything out the way. Cool it back off. Cool it back off, and now it went up high fast, and now it's coming back down a little faster, so it every, all the molecules straighten out and it should straighten it out a little bit. So, and that's what this is doing. It's determining just how straight. See, now we're about, yeah, about 10,000, so I'm going to heat it up maybe one more time. What do y'all typically put yours within? So, like this stub would have to be less than three. This has to be about five. Okay. Or less, and in the middle, about 10. That's what kind of the books tell you to do. So, we try to get, we try to cut everything in half. So, you get super close to that. We try to, yeah. Okay. As best we can, yeah. <laughs> So under five there. Yeah. Under ten in the middle. Yeah. Now we're less, we're about five in the middle too. Perfect. Like two. Oh yeah, almost nothing. Yeah. So now we can see how all this stuff gets locked in. So when we're straightening it, now it's got to have a little bit of freeness so it can feel the vibration inside the drive shaft. So now we're going to balance it. Now we're going to balance this thing. Oh man. Now that it's straight, it might not even need any weight to the dial indicator. Yeah, that's it. So that's like pretty dang balanced, actually. Yeah, we're, we're <laughs> not gonna need any weight at all. That's so rad. Now, if it was unbalanced, though, what you do would you'd add weight exactly. to counter that, essentially. Exactly. exactly. These these little dial indicators tell us where the weight's gonna go, and we kind of decide where the weight goes. And uh, this the shaft doesn't need any weight. We're good. driveline situated situated for the ultra four car before we leave california for the next leg of our journey there's uh one other thing that we have to do that involves this beauty right here which you'll remember is the honda grom that kevin bought for me <laughs> i did buy it even for you though he still hasn't taught me how to ride it yet but we do have something really special to do to it already and that's an exhaust and an intake and, and a tail delete <laughs> all the things <laughs> okay but no for real so pretty ugly factory exhaust here with just in general this super terrible rear license plate hole this this thing. is just terrible, terrible yeah it you know so we're gonna do something about that in the form of this right here so this is a toke performance t slash exhaust and this is super adorable intake. Oh, look at it. 
It is so tiny. I mean, okay, so it's a, what, a 125cc engine. Yeah. It's essentially a scooter. It's like a cross between a scooter and a motorcycle, but just. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Anyways, also, we got this TST Industries Undertale Delete Kit, which we also got through Toke's Performance, which we're going to include this with it as actually going to be our new rear taillight, which includes our blinkers in it as well. So we'll still be fully legal. It just won't look nearly as fucking terrible as it currently does. So we're going to get my motorcycle pimped up, even though I still, again, have never ridden it, Kevin. Don't get to work. Get to putting it on. So the boys are going to install this. <laughs> no, 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 then, no. Mm. And then Kevin is going to teach me how to ride it. Oh, it's super easy. I mean, I literally walked back into the house and came back out, and it was like, ta da! It's all done. It was super <laughs> you're, you're, you're welcome, my love. You're welcome. <laughs> but no, okay, for real, for real though, it honestly looks way more rad and a lot less scooter y than it did before. We also took off the mirrors and the reflectors to make it look a little better, but in general, the new exhaust looks freaking rad. The tail, the undertail delete looks super dope. Like everything looks really clean it fits really well so the question now is of course how does it sound which involves me getting on top of the bike <laughs> and then the step after that is going to be riding it but first off let's see how it sounds all right how do we start it how do you start it turn that key on okay you got that I'm turn that on there you go clutch in clutch in even though it's a neutral better than it did. It sounds a lot less like a scooter. It sounds kind of dirt bike-y. It just sounds like a dirt, I think it is a 125 like dirt bike engine. Yeah, it sounds a lot like a dirt bike key. Okay, so you don't, this is our first time riding, so you don't want to go full throttle like that. You don't want to be all throttle happy. Okay, this well, I know a, that. This isn't a drift car. I understand Okay, that. so we're going to clutch in. For the record, I have never ridden a motorcycle before. The last time I was on something with two wheels, it was a dirt bike, and I was seven. So over so like 20 years ago. years ago. Not that old, you church. <laughs> but yes, it okay. was a very long time ago. All right, so this is a one down and three up, so yep. it's a four speed. So clutch in. All right. Okay, so yep. cl clutch in, and then one down is going to be first gear. Okay. And then to go to second, you're going to go up, but we're not going to go to second gear right now. Now you have your brake is where your right hand is at, but right now I don't want you to mess with your brake. Right now, I just want you to focus on throttle and clutch and where you're going. Don't look at me. I need you to look that way. <laughs> All right. It, and she's not wearing a helmet because we're only going a mile an hour right I'm now. I'm not going to take off of this. If she decides to go more than five miles an hour, we'll go get her helmet. So just a little, just a little bit of throttle. And clutch it. Look at, look at that. You're a natural. <laughs> you're a natural. With both my feet down. Going it's okay. Half training a mile wheels. An hour. Those are training wheels. You have long <laughs> legs for a reason. So now, just hold, now, as you get going, once the clutch is out and you're moving, just leave it like that and, let, let, and like keep moving. Um, How far? Just to the, to the end of the truck. It's right there. All right. Nope. I know at some point I have to pick my feet off the ground, but I'm really nervous about that part. All right, come on. Ah, all right. All right. Remember, anytime if you get scared, clutch in. Alright. Clutch in. Okay, you, you don't want to stop with your feet. You don't want to use the brakes to stop or clutch in until you stop. Okay. Alright. I gotta get going though. I have to learn how to do that. 
Yeah. But if you're going to get going, we're going to go put a helmet on you. Should we put a helmet on? Are you ready to go already? Oh, I need to. You only got 10 yards. Let's just go put a helmet on. Okay, she's got her helmet, but she's so nervous that all she did was talk about the, the Toach exhaust, which is cool. It does sound cool, but she completely forgot to talk about the whole rear fender eliminator kit and that flush mount tail light that has the LEDs and it has blinkers actually in the LEDs. So it got rid of and cleaned up the whole rear end of this thing. And I know she probably B-rolled it, but the cute little intake that's down here, that's pretty awesome. But I think the bike looks super rad now. All right, look at that. She's suiting up, she's being safe. What about your uh, riding jacket and pants and boots? What do you call that, a squid? I don't think you can be a squid on this. You can, you, baby, that thing will do 60 miles an hour. You can. I'm not gonna do 60 miles an hour. Okay, let's I see. I just wanna get my feet off the ground. Let's see. I probably won't even, I don't, I'll leave, I'm not even gonna leave first gear. I just want to get my feet off the ground. I don't need. And don't forget, we've got these cool little tires. Oh yeah, our Kendas. We got these Kenda big block tires, and I went down one sprocket in the front, so it gave it more Pat. low to low to mid range. So it's actually a cool little bike now. Well, look the part. All right. Okay. Uh. Start her back up. Okay. Where's first gear? Down. Down. Okay, just remember, clutch in. If you, if you get scared, <laughs> always clutch in. Never so throttle. I'm gonna dump it. <laughs> Don't whiskey throttle it. <laughs> All right, okay. 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 You pick your feet up when you get going, not before you pick up. I know, I know, I know. All right, I'm nervous. I know, okay. you're doing fine. Okay. Just a little bit of gas, a little bit of gas. You left the clutch out in second gear and it died? Oh. Or did you shut it off? I might have accidentally hit the button. Either way. Oh, you got somebody coming. Either way, I didn't die. High five, that was good. Didn't die. Um, okay, guys. That's all we have for you today. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I'm gonna jump on the back now. Oh god, <laughs> it just sank to the ground. Oh my god! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Get off! I'm too short to sit on the back. He he can't reach the ground, so he sits on it, and it's all on my feet. We almost just dumped it. Anyways, <laughs> you can find all your Light Bright Nation merch at lightbrightstudios.com. All your Light Bright Nation decals at pixeldecals.com. Guys, we love you so much, and we will see you next time. And the next time you see me, I'm going to be a pro. Probably not, but it'll be, I'll be better. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. Mwah. Mwah. I'm so excited. It's Jason. gonna have 40s on it soon. Like, I'm super stoked Jason, about this. You're Hold gonna up. break ours nieces. No. Yeah. If it fits, it ships. If, if, it, if it fits, it sits. If it fits, it sits. You're not Jason, a cat. That is too small for you. I thought it was just right. Hit the gas. Oh god, I, I can't. I can't I can't even. Hold on, wait. Oh, wait. I gotta turn it on first. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hold on. Hold oh, on. <laughs> you just ran over, you just ran over all of our parts. Hold on. I did. Hold on. I, I couldn't move my foot. It was fine. Dude, look at it cambered out. It's about to break. Look dude, at that. Dude, look at the. Hold on. Look, look at the rear camber on this thing. Oh. Jason, get out of that. I, You're definitely going to break it. Like, <laughs> you need something to grab and flip so yourself. It is so there's cambered there's out. Oh, God. Come hold the ladder, Kevin. <laughs> No, you get yourself in this situation. Get yourself out. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs>
<laughs> wow, look, the camera's gone. It was seriously. Dude, it's a rear tire. For it. Dude, that's so awesome. So it has suspension. Here. I mean, I don't think it's no, supposed it's to. No, it does bent. not have suspension. You just bent the axles and all you did. No, I did. Okay, Britt, show me how it's done. Oh, can, it doesn't have like a torsion. Can you can you fit in there? Oh, you got it. Oh, oh, yeah. right. Just back, just back straight up right now. Look at that, she's burning rubber. Look at that. <laughs> go, Let's go, get up. Get. There's a little bar back here. Anything, huh? <laughs> that is so much fun. Broke it. Did you kill it? Oh, there. That, that quick steer, though. That quick steer, though. Is it electric steering? Oh my god, it's got electric steering, doesn't it? Oh, I'm gonna off the power. It's just like a real Jeep, it's got electric steering. <laughs> Austin Powers. Clutch kick. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're done. That's it. <clears throat>